Here I have a little uh, flask that has in it some water. And if it's hard for you to see here, uh, you can perhaps look at it on the television monitor there. Now Mars doesn't have much of an atmosphere. The atmosphere of Mars is only about, is less than 1% of the atmosphere on the Earth, and it's mostly carbon dioxide. And so to simulate the Mars atmosphere, we have to evacuate this. So we'll connect it to our vacuum pump back here and turn on the vacuum pump, and you'll get to see what will happen to liquid water if it were under the uh, conditions of the Mars atmosphere. And you see it's boiling. And in fact, you're uh, perhaps familiar with that. Uh, when you reduce the pressure, water boils at a lower temperature. If you live in a city like Denver, people are very aware of that. It's much harder to cook food because it doesn't get so hot. Now, if you look at it right now, uh, you notice that, in fact, ice is formed. And in fact, when I touch it, it feels quite cold, just like you would expect if it were filled with ice water. And that's quite remarkable when you think about it. We have taken liquid water, and we have made it boil, and then we have made it freeze without any source of heat or refrigeration. And that's one reason it's unlikely there's very much, if, it, if any, liquid water on Mars, because it would either boil away because of the low pressure, or it would freeze because it's very cold there. And so, if there's water, it would probably be in the form of ice.